this is Melissa Six, I'm Precious Moonshack. And I'm Nanadwa, our main headlines. As a deadline to the SIM card registration with Ghana Card Rolls Nyera, MTN Ghana arrives on campus to register students. We'll be speaking to Zena's fees at the scene. Also coming up, Rudolph Sunny Days is declared the winner of the just ended SLC presidential elections. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Health and Allied Sciences says there is no rule in you have to say the university should close after 21 days of no academic activity. As Utah strike is about ending the sixth week, the Vice Chancellor said he is hopeful that the strike will soon be called. The management of the university has postponed the upcoming white coat ceremony and the 10th anniversary lunch. The whole provincial president goes on a tour to the hostels on campus. We have a special report on that. And I am JJ with the Sports News. Senegal wins the Africa Cup of Nations beating Egypt. Hello and welcome to News at 6. Do stay with us for all latest news on campus. Let's now cross over to Zena Suiza, the registration center. Yes, I'm here at the MTN SIM card registration where it's getting closer and closer to the end of the SIM registration that is ongoing nationwide where citizens are linking their Ghana card to the SIM card. Now the SRC has made an agreement with MTN Ghana to come to campus and register the SIM card. Now the same process happened at Hawkeye campus but first this report was filed by Brew. It is getting closer to the deadline for the linking of SIM cards with Ghana card. As a result, the SRC has partnered with MTN Ghana to come to campus and register students who are on campus. Speaking off camera, some students said they were happy about this initiative and commended the SRC. Although not all students may be able to register before the process ends on Thursday, many people are looking forward to registering. Patrick Quisibriu, US Base TV, Kafalga. Our correspondent at Hawkeye in Kunim was also at the registration process at Hawkeye campus and filed this report. A team from MTN Ghana arrived here on Hawkeye campus to register students and link their Ghana card to their SIM cards. The day's event took place at the main campus where many students came to have their SIM cards registered. Interacting with a few of them, they said they are proud of what the administration is doing to help and commended them. Reporting for you has Base TV, I am Ose Inkunimesa. All right, so I'm being joined here by Fritz. He's in charge, or he's the second in command of the digital in, at MTN Ghana. So first of all, I want to ask you, how has the process been like? It has been successful. Mm. Uh, we did good. Yeah. Uh, we covered at least 50% of the speed of the mm -hmm. that we So I'll say that it goes so fast. Were there a lot of problems and complications? People came and they were able to register. Did you see something like that? The only problem we had was that some students, uh, like the names on their ID card are not equal to the names on okay. the center. And then some to their ID cards are not being validated. Okay. So we have to send them back to the NIA office to okay. the information to be the yeah. Okay. So would you be coming back or this is the last? For now, this is the last day. Okay. Yeah, okay. This is the last day. No. Okay. All right. So we get some, maybe some paper out of them and we have some checks so that we have to do the discussion. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So that was uh, Mr. Fritz, who is part of the digital team at MTN Ghana. Well, the process will end here on the 10th of February, and it's not clear as to whether all students will register before then. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Zenas. 
Now, the Electoral Commission of the U.S. SRC held elections this Monday to vote for a new federal president for this administration. The process took place online with students voting for either a yes or no. After the elections, Rudolph Sunny Days won the election by accumulating more than 80% of the total valued votes. Prince Emmanuel has this report. So, um, as we can see, the number of those who voted, as we can view from here, were 639 who said yes, and then those who voted no were 148. Um, in percentage-wise, that means he had 81.09%, approximately 81.1% for the yes, which is above the no, so meaning that provisionally um, he has been declared the winner for this. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Health and Life Sciences, Professor John Japon, has said that there is no rule in U.S. which says that school must close after 21 days of no academic activity. Speaking on Join News, he said he hasn't heard or seen that in New House or University of Ghana, where he has taught before. After 21 days, you shut down. Do okay. you have that? And if you don't, no. uh, is there any anticipation that when... I mean, I, I think we've hit the 21 days. We, we, is there we, going to be a shutdown? We don't have it. And I, I came out of Legon. As far as I know, I think I know the Legon statutes very well. Legon doesn't have it. Let's stay on the issue of strike because the strike action by the University Teachers Association of Ghana is about entering its seat week. Earlier this week, UTAC declined to meet the National Labour Commission to resolve their issues. Again, speaking on Joy News, the Vice Chancellor said that he is hopeful that the strike will soon be called off. And uh, we need to sit around the table and talk. Mm. And Vice Chancellor Ghana has been doing this uh, all the while. Uh, indeed, in the strike that occurred last year, uh, Vice Chancellor Ghana was at a, I mean, seat around the table to basically facilitate all the agreements that we had. And. Uh, we continue to do that from the background and uh, talk to government, talk to, uh, to UTAG to ensure that there is peace and harmony. The University of Health and Allied Sciences is celebrating its 10 years anniversary. The university was established in the year 2012 by an act of parliament. Fast forward in 2022, the university is 10 years. Speaking on Joy News, the Vice Chancellor said the school has a brighter future. The U.S. journey has been a, a good one overall. Um, difficult beginnings, but uh, by and large, I think uh, we are impacting the country the way we ought to. I mean, we started as a university, actually, the Act of Parliament that established the university was passed in December 2011. And the university started its operations in uh, September 2012 with just 154 students. Today, we are over 7,000 in all, mm -hmm. including regular students and uh, sandwich students. So uh, I think it's been a good journey uh, mm -hmm. overall. Of course, with these challenges, uh, which is, is expected in the current tertiary education landscape. Right. Uh, yep. And you are a specialized university. Yes, we're a specialized university. Health and allied we sciences. focus on health and allied sciences. The school may just be 10 years, but we have achieved so many things. Reporting for you has based TV. I am Akuba Mafia Comfort. Let's look at some of the day's other news. The SRC organized an orientation for the course refs and class presidents of the freshers to teach and make them familiar with how things run in the school and how to do their work. African Education Watch is calling on the government of Ghana to close down universities due to the recent strike. In a letter, it says staying in school would have economic and social consequences on the families. The university management has postponed the upcoming 10th anniversary lunch 
which included the flows. In a message sent through student emails, it said that the university's um, launch of the 10th anniversary will be scheduled to another date. The White Coast Ceremony for the Pharmacy and Medical Students, which was also supposed to take place in the 8th, on the 8th of February, has also been postponed to another date. Selena reports on that. The University of Health and Allied Sciences has postponed its 10th anniversary lunch due to the tax strike. In a message sent through the student's email, it says that it has been rescheduled to 21st of February. Also, the white coat ceremony for the School of Medicine and School of Pharmacy, which is done to usher the students into their clinical year, has been postponed. However, a new date has not been set yet. Reporting for you has been TV, Selena Blefono. The provincial president for the whole campus is embarking on a tour to all the hostels on whole campus. The president visited the Defiat Hostel where he was caught up with our correspondent Perpetual who filed this report. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Please, I'm Perpetual Aban Johnson reporting for you has been TV. So, um, I'll first of all ask you some questions. Upon your tour here in Defiat Hostel, what were, some of the, what were some of the challenges you came up with? Oh, okay. So, um, first of all, I would like to say thank you to your husband's TV and your whole crew for the good work done. Okay, um, I came to the Fiat Hostel and a whole lot of issues came up. They, they really poured their heart to me and I'm very happy. Okay, some people raised concerns concerning um, network problems in the hostel, which together with the hostel president, we make sure we will get a Wi-Fi for them as soon as possible. Also, transport issues came out, which I explained it to them that um, we have two private companies working assets now. And also, um, they raised issues concerning sanitation, which I'm going to work very hard with their hostel president to make sure that their general washrooms are well cleaned each and every day. So these are the challenges that came out today. Thank you very much, Mr. President. So, Mr. President, please, what advice would you like to give to the residents of the Fiat Hostel, especially the current level 100? Okay, so I will tell them, I will advise them to believe in the SRC, okay, because we are there because of them. They should always communicate to us. They are the reason why we have SRC. Without them, there will be no SRC. So I will tell them to believe in the SRC and always channel their problems to us, and we are there to help them solve their problems. Interaction with the residents of Diffia's Hostel. He assured the residents of Diffia's Hostel that he would work hand in hand with the whole president to ensure that all their problems are solved. If not all, more than half of their problems are solved. I'm Aban Johnson, the Federal reporting for He Has Based TV. Thank you. It's now time for the sports update with JJ. <laughs> Thank you, Nana Adwa. Senegal defeated Egypt in the African Cup of Nations Championship match on Sunday, winning the Continental Championship for the first time on penalty kicks at Olympia Stadium in Yaoundé, Cameroon. Neither Senegal nor Egypt, which had previously won the African Cup of Nations seven times, the most in the tournament's history, were able to break through the first 90 minutes with Senegal looking looking in control for the most of the game before Egypt came to strength late in the second half. Here are the highlights from the game. All the best. Thank you. The Ghana Football Association, DFA, has appointed both Otu, Adu and Chris Hilton as part of the technical team to lead the Black Stars for the World Cup playoff against Nigeria. In a statement, the FA said Hilton will serve as technical advisor while Edu will lead as head coach. That's all we have for sports. Back to you in the studio.
Thank you, JJ. That is all for today's edition of News Assist. Stay with us and follow us on Twitter for breaking news alerts. Follow us on Facebook for more news updates. Subscribe to You Has Brace TV on YouTube for more video content. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Enjoy, Enjoy your weekend.